Hey everyone, thank you for joining um, for It's a Wrap. It has been a, um, a busy week. It's been going, going well though. Uh, let's see, so Monday we went over to Endicott College. It was John, Trina, John, Haley, and myself. We brought, who did we bring? I brought Melvin, John brought Fred, and Haley brought Moira. And we went over to one of the dorm um, areas into their common room. And so the college students came out. They were able to look at the dogs, ask questions about the dogs, pet the, the younger ones. Um, and it was a good training experience for Melvin because he was, he just stayed right there. He just let people come in and out, walk around him, and he was absolutely wonderful. So he was a real good boy, um, and it was good to have people approaching him, backing away from him. Um, and he, he showed uh, nerves of steel, so he was really good. Um, let me see, also on Monday, Michelle and Bi Billy Toto came to see their grandchildren. So they came down, it was almost around feeding time, I was um, here, and they came down to see Alexis and Moira, took lots of pictures, which I do believe they put on Paula's Facebook. And they just couldn't get over how much Alexis looks like Paula, the same mannerisms, et cetera. So that was, um, they were really happy. And Moira, she's absolutely beautiful. So they spent a little bit of time with them. Um, and then on Monday night, we had our first event fundraiser meeting. Uh, and that went really well. Hello, everybody. Yeah, you were on that call, weren't you, for the, meet, for the fundraiser? People had some remarkable ideas. I, I really think so. So we did some minutes, um, and we are going to be implementing some of those ideas. And of course, all the people that were on the call, that if they're in this area, they will be scouring the papers, keeping the ears open for different events and different um, places for us to bring the dogs to, um, to get the world word out that you know, we are here, and this is what we do, and this is how our dogs help people. Uh, Tuesday we had Paul and Charlotte came to visit at the farm for a few days. Um, so I think you probably saw them on mail call, I believe, that they were there. Uh, they stayed in the guest house for a few days. They got recertified and um, headed, headed back to Ohio. So that was, it was nice to see them. I had a long talk with Paul. It, it was good because it's a lot of things that I didn't know about them. Um, let me see, we have Thursday, Cole came in, he is boarding um, while his humans are away. He is leaving on Monday, so he's, he's such a good boy, he, he really is, he's oh, such a loving dog. Um, also on Thursday, I got a call from a student over at Cambridge College. They wanted to interview me as far as um, SDP, how did the organization how was it created? What the dogs do for people? Um, how does it help? They help the community. Um, are we partnered with people? Just a bunch of different questions that um, each student has to go and find some sort of a nonprofit organization to interview and um, work on their project from there. I'm not sure what the final result is on it, but it's um, you know it's something that they do. Uh, Friday we had a kennel assistant meeting, so that was that was good. Um, all the kennel assistants are on Teams now, which is our communication platform amongst everybody, um, all of the staff. So they will be able to communicate with each other um, where they left off, what did get done, what didn't get done, what needs to get repaired. Um, and we have some white doors that need replacing, uh, and they also have developed on their own a large checklist of things that need to be done every day in the kennels, every week in the kennels, every month in the kennels, and then again, ongoing tasks. Um, and that will help them out also. I know Chris worked um, today and he was pretty much, um, he had one other person helping him until the flock of volunteers came in, but it was great because he could go refer back to this checklist and say, listen, I didn't get to this yet. Um, let me show you how to do it. And he was, you know, he supervised that to get um, some training done for some of the volunteers that came in to help work. So that was good. 
And then today, fast track to today, Service Dog Project's tree was set up today over at Marini Farms. Um, there is a live video feed that was put on Service Dog Project's Facebook page. And I did ask Diane, because she did the filming of it, if she could also put it on Explore. So she, um, she said as soon as she gets home, she had some errands um, to do. But as soon as she got home, she would see what she can do. So watch Explore. Hopefully that Facebook uh, feed will also be on there. And you'll be able to see the tree, all the beautiful decorations that people made, submitted in. Thank you very much. Um, and anything that was left over, I am thinking of putting a tree together here that could be decorated. There was quite a few things Were there? Yeah, there was a lot of ornaments. Nice. Okay. So, nice. so um, we've got a, the little girl that you'll see in the video um, who made some of the ornaments. She, so she is, she's a sweetheart. She is actually going to be helping me make some other decorations here in, at the farm. Um, so she's really excited about that too. I'm so. actually going to upload a picture of the. I have a picture I can upload. I can't upload videos, but I have a picture of the tree. Oh, nice! If it'll let me. All right. So, <laughs> so watch. Uh, I'm yeah. trying. Watch explore. <laughs> yeah. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell um, of the events for this week. So while you are doing that. So 
if you have questions that you put, um, you ask on mail call, they don't get answered, um, keep them. And the next time I am on It's a Wrap, or do one of my trainer talks, or meet the dog, we are pretty skeletal staff next week with the holiday. Um, so I will probably be doing a lot of the, uh, the meet the dog. I don't think the trainer talk is going to be happening on Thursday, uh, being Thanksgiving. You want to do train to talk? Not really, but I'll help you. <laughs> so you might just see us. I'm not a trainer, I'm a dog lover. There you go. There you go. Well, maybe we'll just do a couple of meet the dogs and we'll bring a couple of dogs, different dogs in for everyone to see. That'll be fun. All right. There's another question here. Did Wilson go home with Janine today? Yes. Janine got her booster shot. Um, the other day and she had a very bad reaction to her second shot itself so she had half that reaction to the booster and it pretty much knocked her down um, I can totally relate to that when I got my second shot but um, so that's why Wander and Wilson have been staying here for the um, for a little bit because she was just she was just down so she did um, come and pick them up today. They are going to, they were with her today. They are going to stay with her tonight. So Kennel 10 will be empty unless I put another dog in there. Um, and you'll see them during the day. If Janine can't keep them with her during the day, then they'll be here to be on camera so people can see her. And you guys can um, see how much he's, he's improved. Looks like he's improving already from what I saw. I know. Yeah. Such a such a good boy. Yeah. Such a good boy. Um, you know, he is not washed from the service dog project, um, service dog program. Um, you know, I, again, I differ to <laughs> agree with Carlene on that, which that's okay. You know, we'll see how he grows. You, I just don't feel you can tell somebody at 12 weeks old that no, this dog is no good. You don't know that. So we're going to give little uh, Wilson a fighting chance on becoming somebody's go-to dog. Yeah. Go. Good news. Yes. All right. You ready to feed? Ready to feed. All right, everyone. That's a wrap. We'll see you. Have a great holiday week. We'll see you Thursday on the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.